Zayn and Yanni, the saga continues. So Zayn and Yanni wrestled at the Usar Dogu this past weekend. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about the implications for Team USA and also why fans are so upset. And some people have a right to be, some people maybe not, but I'm going to get to that. So what exactly happened at the Dogu? Well, first of all, Yanni won. Okay, Yanni won the Dogu. So of course he beat Zayn in round one. And it just blew my mind. It blew my mind. And please let me know if it blew your mind too, that these two, after all they've been through, after all this crazy controversy, they get matched up with each other to wrestle in match one at the Dogu. Now, listen, it's it was a random draw. So it was probably done by a machine. It, 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 the random draw is kind of done differently at certain tournaments. Sometimes it's the higher ups randomly drawing, which, you know, I wonder. Like, really? You're going to have two guys on Team USA wrestling off in the first round? Very upsetting. However, the match was pretty pretty great. Uh, it would happen at 4 a.m. because those guys were over in a different country. Now, the score is close at the break. It was 2-1 to one at the break, and Yanni was, Yanni was up. Uh, and then kind of what happened in the second period is Zane, Zane kind of shot in, shot, fake shot, kind of Yanni got around him. And then he was kind of hanging over top Zane, kind of flipped him, exposed him out of bounds. And we see how Zane get a little, maybe a little bit injured. I don't know if it's his knee, his ankle, what, what it was. I think he was kind of holding his knee, but something on his leg was injured. And Yanni ended up winning that match. Nine to five was the final score. And, and Yanni looked good. Listen, this was the match three that everybody was hoping to see. And these guys showed up. They they showed up, and you know it. it this is how it went down. Okay. Now, Zayn right now is still on Team USA. We'll get to the implications in just a minute in what this actually means. Does this actually mean anything? Now, why are the fans so upset too? We'll get to that in a minute. But first, I want to talk a little bit about how did Yanni do? Well, of course, he, he I don't want to see Cruz to the finals because his semifinals match was actually pretty darn close. His semifinals match, he was down 9-0 to going into the second down nine to zero, ended up coming back, winning nine, uh, winning on criteria, scoring nine points, winning on criteria, incredible match. In the finals, he ended up getting a forfeit. Um, guy didn't want to wrestle him, so he ended up winning the tournament, and and that's kind of what happened. Johnny D, uh, as we learn out, that his real name is actually John Diakum Hollis, and not. Yanni, which is uh, in in Greek, I believe is what it is. Uh, so what happened? You know, why why are fans so upset? Okay, uh, and I think really a lot of this comes from yes, the first match, but also the fact that Yanni won the tournament. Fans are so upset because of, I mean, they want to yell at the process. They want to yell at the refs. They want to yell at Kel Sanderson. They, no matter what was going to happen in this in this event, it was unfortunate because if Zane won, if he won, f certain fans would have yelled and been like, see, I told you, you Cornell people are crazy, you Yanni fans are crazy, Zane deserves this spot, it's his, that's it, I told you so. Okay. But if Yanni won, which he did, and which is what's happening now, everybody's yelling, see, they should have got a third match, this should have happened. And Yanni deserves this spot over Zane. It doesn't matter what happened. He deserves this spot. So it was, it was, we were caught between a rock and a hard place where no matter what happened, people were going to get upset. Some fans, you know, it's, it's okay to be upset about this. And because of the controversial, crazy controversial call, you know, I've talked about it on the show before, but it was a controversial call at Final X. I believe should have went to a match three. Um, but, you know, under the rules, under what exactly happened, it didn't. And the, now the implications, okay, right now I'm not really sure where, you know, where the lawyers are, where, you know, Cornell's coaches are saying, like, you know, they were going to hire lawyers and review this. I don't really think that this can go to a match three at this point. I don't think that it will. Um, as far as, like, what this exact match has on, on implications, 
not really anything. Um, it's not this match and this tournament isn't going to change the fact. Like Team USA is not going to say like, oh, Yanni's in now. Now that he won this tournament, that's not how it happened. Now, what could happen is maybe Zayn's actually injured and and he's you know injured too much where Yanni actually does get to wrestle. And now I think that Zayn, you know, he deserves that spot on Team USA. He earned that spot. And these two are going to compete again probably next year for the Olympics and, you know, for that Olympic spot. So although Zayn has a spot right now, it's there's no crazy implications. And what happened at the rest of the tournament, if you're interested in what happened at the rest of the tournament uh, with a couple of the USA guys, I'm not going to go through the whole results, but just talk a little bit about this, um, exactly what happened. So Team USA uh, took second place here. They actually lost to Turkey, the home country, hosting this by 10 points. Now, Turkey had more guys entered in the tournament than Team USA, so that's kind of what happened. Now, as far as champions, places, things like this, it was kind of nuts because first of all, Yanni won, and he's technically like, he's not on Team USA. Second of all, uh, Alex Deeringer won, and he's also not on Team USA yet. He still has to wrestle Kyle Dake, which you know, in Kyle Dake news, he won this uh, Spanish Grand Prix, and he's still wrestling Alex Deeringer off in August. Now, in other news, uh, Jaden Cox. Outscored his opponents forty-two to zero, and won the tournament. And also, uh, Pat Downey he took fifth. He placed. Um, saw a lot of controversy here too. You know, it, it's it's one of his first world tournaments. Uh, you know, it's his first world tournament since making the world team. And a lot of people were giving him crap. You know, David Taylor would have played or would have won it. He would have cruised through this. Blah blah blah. Listen, okay. Let's represent Team USA. Let let's get behind Team USA and support them. You know, Pat Downey's on this team now. Whether you like it or not, he's on the team and he deserves the wrestling community support. And that's as simple as that.